Welcome to the presentation and demo for IBM InfoSphere Test Data Management and Data Masking Solution for Siebel CRM. Data privacy protection continues to be a tremendous focus for the IT community today. Organizations are making great strides to protect sensitive data in live application environments. Organizations must begin to address the most vulnerable areas of IT infrastructure, that is, non-production environments. The answer lies in the methods used to create non-production databases, commonly live production systems, are cloned to test environment, which holds confidential data. As a matter of fact, non-production data does not require live environment. Using realistic data is essential for testing. Data masking is a process of systematically transforming confidential data elements such as trade secrets and personally identifying information into realistic but fictionalized values. Masking enables developers and QA testers to use production-like data and produce valid test results while still complying with privacy protection rules. Data masking represents a simple concept but it is technically challenging to execute. Most organizations operate with complex heterogeneous IT environments consisting of multiple interrelated applications, databases and platforms. IT managers do not always know how confidential data is stored or how it is related across die separate systems. The ideal solution must both discover sensitive data across related data stores and mask it effectively. The IBM Optim data privacy solution provides comprehensive capabilities for masking sensitive data effectively across non-production environments. You can take the necessary steps to protect privacy while still providing realistic data for use in development, testing and training. When you use Optim to mask confidential data, you protect privacy and safeguard shareholder value. The key benefits of data masking include mask confidential data on demand in applications, databases and reports based on business policies to protect data privacy. Support compliance initiatives throughout the enterprise by capturing data privacy policies and rules in one centralized repository. Enforce policies and rules through measurement of usage. Use a single scalable enterprise data masking solution to mask data everywhere across applications, databases and operating systems. The figure represents an ideal data masking process. To the top is the production database from which Optim extracts test data, masks them and stores in extract files. Then mask data are inserted into target database that is test, development and quality assurance. Now let us proceed to the product presentation. We have the source in the production application environment and the target test application environment. Let's go to Siebel production application environments to verify the sample data. This is the login page for production Siebel application. We're logging in with credentials sadmin slash sadmin. This leads us to Siebel homepage. Navigate to account screen, account list. From the drop down, select accounts across organizations. A list of records will be displayed. Select any record and click on account name. We are going to mask the account information like addresses, contacts and credit card details. As you can see the account details such as customer account name, site, main phone number, address, city, state and primary contact. For contact details go to contacts tab. Here you can see first name, last name, work phone number, work fax number, email and the mobile number. And for credit card details go to payment profile tab. Here you can see details like profile name, credit card holder, address and credit card number. All these details will be masked and inserted into the target environment. Note down the account name and account ID. The account name is ABC Corp and account ID is 1EJGR. Using this ID, we will verify the mass record in target environment. Let's verify the data to be extracted from production database. Our criteria for demo is to extract the data with account flag as yes and internal organization flag as no as specified in the query. Execute the query. There are 1845 records which matches the criteria including the record shown earlier in the gold copy production Siebel application. Access definition and business criteria in Optim. Now we will look at the access definition editor, extract request editor, convert request editor and the insert request editor on core optim. This is the optim console we will use for core optim to perform the extract, convert and insert request. For the demo's purpose, we have already imported the account optim export file. Optim export file is the OEF which consists the optim objects such as access definition, extract request, convert request and the insert request. It also contains the primary key, relationship table map and the column map. The identifier window which displays the list of identifiers 
serves as the prefix for object definition. Also, we use the common basis import file which contains the definition needed to extract and insert reference application data that is common to all application processes and functionality. For example, employees, organizations, predefined queries, list of values, positions and the responsibilities. For the demo's purpose, we have already extracted and inserted common basis data using Optim. Now open access definition. Let us have a look at the access definition window which describes data model to extract subset of data. It is also used to manage and maintain the list of tables, relationship and to specify the business selection criteria. And this is the table tab. It displays the list of table names and access definition to specify the data to be extracted and masked. To create a table list, we need to specify and add the start table and other tables like transactional tables, context table and the reference table. In the table specification column, the icon indicates the selection criteria. Click on the selection criteria icon. It will display the selection criteria tab where masking criteria is specified. We can have any business criteria specified against the table that defines the conditions for data to mask. It also allows all types of SQL statements. All the accounts matching to the criteria will be extracted unmasked. This is the relationship tab which defines column in the parent table that relate to corresponding columns in the child table. It also defines the traversal path for selecting data from tables mentioned in an access definition. The start table and any reference table listed on the tables tab are always included in the process. Now let's have a quick understanding of extract and convert request editor window. Let's open extract request. Go to the identifier pane in the Optum tool and open extract request. An extract request uses access definition to extract data from tables. When we create an extract request, we must specify an extract file name and the access definition option. And this is the convert tab. Here we mention convert request name. Let's open the same convert request from the identifier pane. The convert request is used to convert or mask the actual data. We need to specify a source file, a destination file to store the converted data, a control file to store processing information and name of the table map. Data will be masked based on the column map functions defined in the table map. Now open the table map. A table map defines specifications for correlating source and destination tables of compatible data. Data will be masked based on the column map functions defined here. The column map provides specifications needed to match columns between two tables referenced in a table map as well as to transform the data. Save and close the table map. And now we are running the convert request as a part of extract request itself. Let's run the extract and convert request. Click on run button to initiate the extract and convert request. The request has started and is processing. Once it completes, a report will be generated. As you can see, a process report has been generated and the process report contains generated extract file name, status as no errors or no warnings and statistical information of the extract request like total tables process 21, total rows extracted, 22,967, first pass table rows 1,845 and the rows extracted from each table. Convert request report will also be generated as a part of extract request which contains the source of the extract file name, destination extract file name, status as no errors and no warnings and statistical information of the convert request like total tables process 21, total rows extracted, 22,967 and the total rows converted 22,967 and details of rows converted for each table. Let's verify the account records do not exist in the target application. Now let's go to Siebel target test application to verify the data. The Siebel target application is no data environment. This is the login page for target test Siebel application. We're logging in with the credentials sadmin slash sadmin this leads us to the Siebel homepage. Navigate to the account screen, accounts list. From the drop down, select all accounts across organizations. Inserting the converted data to the target database. Now let's have a quick understanding of the insert request editor window. The insert request places mass data from a source file into a destination database. When we create an insert request, we must specify the source file that contains the mass data. The control file name to record the information about the process the process options and the table map. The table map is a set of specifications used to match the set of source tables to destination tables which you run or schedule the insert request. In the inputs tab, select the appropriate converted extract file and save the insert request. 
and then run the insert request. The insert request is started and processing. Once it completes, a report will be generated. As you can see, the insert process report contains the source and the extract file name, the control file name, status as no errors or no warnings, statistical information of the insert request like total tables process 21, total rows inserted 12,305, rows with errors 10,662, some rows fails as record are already present, rows inserted, updated, failed for each table. Now let's verify the masked account records exist in the target application. Let's go to the Siebel target application to verify the data. Navigate to account screen, accounts list. From the drop down select accounts across organizations. As you can see the account records exist. As you know we have masked the account information like addresses, contacts and credit card details. Let's verify this masked information of the account using the account ID we noted. Query for the account account equal to 1 EJGR. You can see that account details such as name, sites, main phone number, addresses, city, zip code, primary contacts are all masked. Navigate to contact tab. You see that the contact information first name, last name, workplace, work fax, email and the phone number are all masked. Now navigate to payment profile tab. You can see that the payment details such as card hold name, card number, verification number, issuing bank are all masked. And that brings us to the end of our demo. We have successfully extracted and converted records from the source production database and inserted into the target test database. Thank you for watching the video.